Pollock's lightning ton blasts pairs to the win. Bowlers have dominated the match at the Merchant Taylors School. 26 wickets have tumbled over the opening two days. Middlesex marginally ahead in a match where momentum has toed and froed. The score 180 for six, the lead 177, and the day three finish, almost a certainty. The pendulum swung in just the first over of the day, though. Roland Jones castled by Morris, four balls into it. Helm and Holman reunited. The first innings, heroes back in the middle with a bit of work to do for Middlesex, but this time there'd be no 50 for Helm. He was out, unable to get off the mark, chipping a catch to Baker off Morris. Umesh Yadav came in and made a strong start. Two fours and a Morris over steered Middlesex past 200, with the leads following not far behind. It looks like he'd taken inspiration from his international teammates' efforts at the Kia Oval yesterday, tucking into almost everything sent down his way. He'd added 35 to the total in a 41-run partnership when Holman looked for the boundary that could bring up his 50, only to pick out Cornell off the bowling of Baker. Middlesex now down to their final wicket. Murtar got Yadav back on strike, and the India international moved into the 40s with a towering six. Murtar would succumb. He aimed a big hoik over the leg side to Leach, but only nicked through. Middlesex all out for 240. The target for the pairs, 238. While Holman had again finished as top scorer with 46 off 86, Yadav's innings of 44 from 41 looked to be crucial, adding a gloss to the target in this low-scoring contest. Pennington was the most effective of the visiting attack, taking three for 54. Ed Pollock and Jake Libby made a lightning start to the chase, smashing Murta and Yadav to all parts of the ground to race their way to 50 off less than seven overs. They headed off for lunch with the score 60 for none, Worcestershire now 178 away from the finishing line. Pollock got even faster after the break, smashing Yadav and Roland Jones to the ropes and over them as he steams towards 50. That came from 40 balls. Another crunching blow saw Roland Jones lifted over the leg side for a one bounce four. The pairs were cruising. Libby had been the more reticent of the pair and would be the first Worcestershire batter to depart, caught behind off the bowling of Tom Helm for 31. Pollock ploughed on, sixes rained down across the ground as they swept past 100 with ease, and soon they were beyond the halfway point in the chase. He'd scored the overwhelming majority of the runs when he brought up the 50-run partnership with another six slapped over the leg side. And after facing just 66, Pollock had his century. A blistering assault rewarded the knock the second fast in the LV County Championship this season, second only to Sam Curran and Ben Stokes, and the required runs were now down into double figures. When Pollock fell, sending Yadav into the waiting hands of Holden on the boundary, he scored 113 off just 77, and his side needed just 71 more to win. The progress understandably slowed after his departure, but Cornell and Haynes batted without concern. The back of the chase had already been broken, and they had plenty of time. Haynes wouldn't be there at the end, out caught in the deep off the bowling of Roland Jones with 45 more required. With Dolivera's arrival, the run rate soared again. It was left to the captain to win it, Worcestershire with their third win of the season. It had been an enthralling and engaging game that could have really gone either way. It was only opened up in the closing stages of the match, largely thanks to that sensational 100 from Ed Pollock. Worcestershire will have a break next week, while Middlesex return to Lords with Sussex the visitors.